It's the morning before my trip. I've been spending all of my time looking up COVID testing information. Probably not the easiest time to travel. Definitely not the easiest time. It requires a lot of, you know, precautionary measures. You have to follow all of CDC's guidelines as well as the UK's COVID guidelines. If, if I knew that this would be going on around this time, I wouldn't have booked a non-refundable trip, but here we are, being as safe as possible, I promise. I think that means that I lied, I promise. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Nothing. Uh-huh. You're not in it anymore. What? You just walked in the background of it. What are we doing? Are you gonna miss me on my trip? I am. Oh. No, I'm not. Well, it is zesty. I just set up this thing on my ceiling so my camera can film an aerial view of my suitcase. It's pretty ingenious if you ask me. Also very time consuming and I'm on a tight schedule, so. Let's pack. Have a mask? Yeah, I have a mask. I'm just saying the roads are really narrow. <laughs> You've given me lots of pressure here. <laughs> My mom's still having a little bit of trouble figuring out how to drive a stick shift car. <laughs> Not. I just discovered that yield signs in Europe say give way instead of yield, which sounds so much more polite. In the US, you drive on a highway and all of a sudden you see this big red triangle that kind of screams yield. And in Europe, <laughs> it's give way. Oh, give way, give way. Look to your right, look to your left, give way. It's nice. Le cordon bleu. Le cordon bleu. <laughs> We're going to an Indian restaurant called the Shoe. The Shoe. So uh -huh. 
<clears throat> Why, hello. It's day two. Last night we just ate and slept and got all of our stuff in order. And today we're driving to Scotland. I have a I have a little bucket list while I'm here. I really want to get fish and chips. My mom can eat the fish. I'll have the chips. In Scotland, I hope to see honestly all all that I know about it is that occasionally some people wear plaid and play the bagpipes, but I know that's just a very broad generalization. I'm sorry if it's offensive. We're going to... Is it Glas Glasgow? Is that how you... Uh, yeah. I, that's my biggest issue is I know that I'm going to be pronouncing a lot of things wrong. Um, but I'll try my best to pick up the English tongue. Some things that I've noticed since I've been here. Everyone's very nice. People wear a lot of black. I've seen a lot of stores called Sainsbury, Sainsbury's, I don't know, there's just like one on every corner. Everyone walks everywhere, which is kind of nice. What else? Um, you guys have different, different outlet shapes, and I did not bring an adapter, which is very inconvenient, but probably my fault, definitely my fault. Yeah, that's, that's really all I have to say. So, I'll see you when I'm in Scotland. Ironing room. Telly. Lifts. I'm gonna get your bookshelf. Library. Ooh, love literature. So it turns out Scotland is actually a seven hour drive. Somehow we thought it was a two hour drive. Um. This is gonna be a long, long day. Scotland, Scotland, Scotland. Oh, am I going down Don't the wrong way? Don't run over the pigeon. Nice church. Look here. Really? Yes. And we missed a few times. 
turns. It's, um, you know, still getting used to the stick shift. But there's so many sheep in this area. It's beautiful. It's, it's like a little movie. I feel like if you lived here long term, I don't know, you'd have, probably have a really good jacket collection, a nice pair of rain boots. Kilt. A kilt, maybe Damn. some pet sheep, a cow or two. Um, I'd like to be one of those people. You still there? Yep. Okay. Grande plant based mocha. What kind of milk would you want with it? Almond, please. Almond, please. Almond milk, yeah. And then, do you have an Americano? In the UK, they have plant based whipped cream launched at Starbucks. And directions. Oh, right. And we're on our way to the coast. So, directions. It's one way or the other. No way in between. Also, we have this really weird feature in the shower, so if you didn't really know how to work it, you could get into a very risky situation, you know, naked. <laughs> okay, do it a bunch of times.
Hopefully she'll get down on it. last day in the UK and we just got our rapid COVID test done. And um, I'm about to go meet a very talented photographer who reached out and we're just going to go around London and take a few pictures in some coffee shops and things. And that's pretty much all that's on the agenda today, which is nice because it's really rainy and cloudy. Mm -hmm. And then at the very end of the day, we're going to see Wicked at 7.30. I've never really seen a Broadway... Sh well, I guess it's not Broadway because it's in London. Do you still call it a Broadway show? Well, I, I haven't seen that many musicals in my life, so this is, this is a first. Um, and this morning on our way to the COVID test, we got to eat at this restaurant called The Breakfast Club and it was so cute and quirky and I had a vegan all-American breakfast. I've never had vegan bacon, vegan sausage, vegan pancakes, potatoes, and non-dairy coffee all in the same place. It was incredible. <laughs> Hello, I'm on a plane. Actually, I'm sitting at my desk recording for this video clip of me on a plane. There was a baby crying. They were serving snacks. I got to have wine because it was legal before I crossed the border. It was fantastic. I feel like this trip wouldn't have been the same if we had gone at any other time. When mom and I got to see parts of Europe as they were versus you know, a different time of year when they're filled with tourists. It was unforgettable because it is unrepeatable. I'm just so thankful that we made it back safe and healthy and I hope all of you are safe and healthy and thank you for watching this. And yeah, I'll see you later.